What's going on guys, Dots here, and today's video is going to be a quick rotation guide for Elvia Fogans. The goal for these guides is to be quick and to the point, showing you everything you need to know about a grind spot in as little time as possible. But before we head out to grind, we need to make sure our, our character is set up with the right buffs so that we are optimizing our time spent grinding. So if you're new and don't know what buffs you need, I do have a guide listed in the description below that explains this topic in depth. But before we do get into today's guide, I do just want to thank today's sponsor, Ewin Racing. Ewin Racing is a company that I've done work with for quite some time and have owned their desk chair for probably about four years now. But I have been looking to upgrade since my chair was getting a bit worn. And so they did send me the newest upgraded model of their champion chair. And let me tell you, it is a massive upgrade in terms of quality. The new way that the chair was boxed was really, really well done. So everything was nice, secure, safe, and nothing had even a single scratch or mark on it. So very, very well arranged in very simple directions. Uh, they also upgraded a ton of features on the chair. The pillow that's on the headrest is now magnetic. The armrests are magnetic. And then this four-way lumbar support built into the chair itself. Personally, I found it a little bit uncomfortable to use. Um, so I used the lumbar pillow they sent instead, but it could just be because I need to break in the chair. The, their new chairs also do hold up to 400 pounds, while other chairs can maybe do 300 at the most. And they also did shorten the height of the chair a little bit. Ewan did tell me that they received feedback in the past that their other chairs were a bit too tall. And so they did shorten the chairs to accompany people of uh, varying heights. And of course, guys, the best benefit is that you can get the chair for 30% off using code DOTS and my link in the description below. This is going to pack a ton of great features and comfort into your chair for a relatively lower price point compared to other chairs because of my code. So again, code DOTS, link in the description below, and grab yourself a chair from Ewin Racing today. So now that we are back from the ad break, let's get into today's rotation guide. So like I said, we are at Elvia Fogans, which is located just south of Heidel, and you will see we have the Fogan Swamp. So LV is going to require 260 AP and 330 DP, with the mob type here being Demi Human. This is going to be very similar to um, uh, LV Swamp Nagas, where it's kind of like a little bit of uh, a trash spot combined with a little bit of RNG. So the main thing you're getting is the hardened casks, which is the trash drop from the mobs here, but then also getting the cold tears of the black sun, which you can turn into the liberated breath of Sylvia and then combining it with the tears of the aired river will let you get a necklace that you can sell for some decent money, as well as the seeds of the void, which you can vendor as well for some quality cash. And you also do get some cup materials here as well, but I wouldn't really go out of your way to necessarily use an item like drop a, drop chance increase, you know, maybe outside the tent you could just use. But if you have like, you know, the increase uh, drop chances, but other spots that are probably a little bit better, but it's a really solid starting Elvia spot where you again, you'll be focusing in and trash. So level two is going to be good for your item collection gauge. No agris needed here, though. Now, in terms of where you want to put your tent, so I pretty much go right next to the southern swamp on this side of the road. Just put my tent and horse here. Can't really put it here because it's super, super slanted. Now, the rotation here is actually very straightforward. You're pretty much just like running in a big circle. So I'm just going to quickly run through the rotation. So like I said, you come down off the road. You hit this pack in the beginning. Go over to these guys. Then you hit these guys again. You just completely keep running along the edge you could also you know go over and hit this big dude if you want to as well hit this pack over here hit these guys right here again just keep going and then until you get to here right at the end of the water then you have to move up onto the land go to this pack up here these guys over here make your way to this small pack right here then ugh. All right, let's try that again. So once you finish killing these guys at the end of the water here, you're going to go kill these guys over here. Go to this little stick over here. Kill these dudes. And you're going to grab these guys. Go over here. These guys. Grab these guys right here. And if you need to, you can go into the water and kill these extra mobs as well if you do find yourself over rotating. This pack right here. Then these guys. You have these guys again just keep staying on the land here again if you notice yourself over rotating you can go into the water if needed and then right here when you see this like willow looking tree that's when you go back into the water grab this pack this pack uh this pack <laughs> these guys these guys you can get and hit those guys too if you want to these guys right here 
Then you have this pack right here. And then before you know it, you're back at the start. So very straightforward rotation, just a little bit of a circle with a zigzag over on that side of the lake. Um, again, if you do find yourself kind of over rotating and stuff, you can dip, dip into the water a bit and grab some extra mobs there. But overall, the rotation is extremely straightforward. There's no mechanics really you have to worry about. Just just kill stuff and, and, and loot it. It's incredibly straightforward. But hopefully you guys did this, did find this guide helpful. And if you did, I would really appreciate if you smacked a like on it. If you have any questions about the rotation for any reason, feel free to leave them below. And also subscribe for more BDO guides and gameplay. And feel free to let me know below as well what rotation guides you would like to see next. So thank you all so much for stopping by. I do very much appreciate it. As always, I'm Dots Gaming, and I'll see you all next time.